somebody wants you to keep going in a loop with them. They want you to stay in this circle with them, okay? But you have squared up in another direction in your life, okay? You refuse to participate in the BS. You refuse to continue to go in this karmic cycle with this person. This has been happening for years. Whoever this is, you have been going back and forth with this person spiritually, most of all for years, but you're tired of it. Like you, you don't feel the need to engage. You have pivoted, okay? And they're upset because everything that they're doing to try to antagonize you or get a reaction out of you, I'm telling you, you squared up in another direction, okay? You a square, they a circle, they in a karmic cycle. You've come up out of that. You don't fit into that plan anymore, okay? <clears throat> so, I'm telling you, you going in another direction. You, you're moving on. You disconnected. God then took you out the group chat, out the loop. Because this is some sort of love triangle. This is the third party of a person you were dealing with. A karmic soulmate of yours. But you learned the lesson you needed to learn from them. And you moved on. You've been trying to move on for a while. But this, this neither them nor their third party wanted to release you. Okay, so they, they kept going with this shit and they still continue to do it. Most, especially the third party, but you don't care. <laughs> like, you you don't care. I don't know. That, like, I don't know what else to say, but the Holy Spirit has a message for us in this download. So, Holy Spirit, what is the... Further insight, clarity, guidance that you would like for us to receive from you through me at this time. I'm telling you, you you have expanded your high horizons elsewhere. You got balance. You got an alignment. You don't even give a fuck. <laughs> and they mad because you don't give a fuck. I'm telling you, they can tell you don't give a fuck too because there's no energetic exchange. They could do something to pull on your energy or trigger you and you would react somehow and and they would know it, okay? And they would get some sort of satisfaction out of it, but they can't do that no more. So what else, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What else we need to know? Eight of Pentacles, because I'm telling you, you just squared up in another direction, honey. You have... You have Pivoted. Okay. On their ass. You focusing on something else that has nothing to do with that karmic soulmate or the third party that he's involved with. Okay. You might be focusing on a Virgo or you could be a Virgo. Okay. 333. Three, three. But you are following and adhering to the divine order of your life. And this person is fucking obsessed with you. Okay? They could be a Capricorn and have Capricorn somewhere prominently in their chart. Highly aspected in a way that it's coming out now. You could have Capricorn somewhere highly aspected in your chart where it's fueling your work ethic and your ability to go in another direction. Okay? You ain't worried about this person and their inability to control you, this possessiveness that they have about your energy and you paying attention to the bullshit that they do and them getting a reaction out of it. You've restricted yourself from that. You ain't falling for the illusions anymore. Because, see, what somebody didn't realize out here is that <clears throat> people purposely do shit to trigger you, whoever you are, because your energy is so powerful. And I'm telling you, this person is doing something spiritual as well. Just the way my throat is trying to act up all of a sudden. You can 
literally give somebody a few seconds of your time and that energy ex exchange could last for hours or days for them. Okay? Understand what I'm saying. That's how powerful your energy is. Okay? So whoever you are, you have learned that you cannot even react to the triggers. You have to laugh it off. You have to ignore it completely. You can't even let it phase you. You know that it's an illusion. That it's some sort of energy sent to confuse you and trick you and you're not falling for it anymore you definitely have went in another direction when it comes to how you respond to things in your life and it was 555 when i was saying that how you responded to this karmic soulmate and the antics of his third party you no longer respond to them the way that you used to and this person knows it okay you don't give a fuck about that masculine or the bitch he with. Do you hear me now? You don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. And she is up. This is that queen of cups. This, this is who is in the devil. Trying to do any and everything to trigger you. And you don't even give a fuck. I'm telling you, you ain't in that loop no more. You know, she gonna have to find somebody else to pull in that loop with her in this King of Swords because you are not participating any longer. You have a peace of mind, a joy that it's obvious she ain't gonna never find because she obsessed, okay, with you, him, and probably a couple of other people that she feels is affiliated with him. And she's doing a lot of magic with this Devil Four of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Okay, so that, that mind ain't wrapped too tight either. I'm picking up on it. Because <clears throat> who spends their day trying to spiritually do things or even do things on the physical realm to purposely trigger and antagonize somebody? Like, who, who does that? You ain't got no job. You don't work nowhere. You don't got no hobbies, no passions. You need to get out. She need to go out somewhere and ground herself because she's really heavily in her emotions and not in a good way. She's sitting in this Capricorn energy in a very hateful, toxic, obsessive way. When Capricorns generally are hard workers, they know how to go out and make money. <clears throat> if nothing else, you know, she needs to utilize the high vibrational aspect of this Capricorn in her chart and go get a fucking job. Go get something to do. 808. Because she ain't got no money. That's why this Four of Pentacles is right there too. Clarify. I'm telling you, this is an old heartbroken asshole. And I'm really picking up that this King of Swords is coming out as the King of Swords because he cutting her ass off. He tired of the bullshit too. And she trying to do any look lovers okay he he cut her ass off hangman she could also have gemini in her chart or he could have gemini in his chart but i feel like he's sitting in this king of swords energy because he about where you at he don't care he's got a new perspective about love and life and I think at one point, this masculine was participating in the antics with her, okay? <clears throat> but he realizes how much more mature you are, first and foremost, financially independent, secondly, beautiful for the third thing, okay? It's a lot of qualities about you that this Queen of Cups does not possess. And these daily antics that she, confirmation, and these daily antics that she continues to participate in spiritually, most of all, it's just proving how more of a virtuous woman you are. Okay? Because I'm telling you, he used to be, he used to be with the bullshit now. But see, now he, he want to go in another direction too, okay? 
He taking a page out of your book. This could be some sort of divine counterpart. He could have been. And he became a karmic soulmate because he was dealing with this queen of cups. But it looks as if this masculine is also trying to change his tra trajectory. That's what I'm hearing again. His path in life. Okay? So that may also be why she's trying to trigger you. And the Holy Spirit say that's the truth. He's trying to have some sort of breakthrough. So here she go. I'm telling you, this hoe got Capricorn somewhere heavily aspect in her chart. Look at her energy. And she has Gemini somewhere in her chart as well. She is doing all kind of bullshit. All kind of spell work. This woman may be doing things on the physical realm as well. To try to stir up your emotions. To try to antagonize him. Because I see where he then moved on. He has closed the cycle with her. King of Swords, Queen of Cups, the world as well. And she doing any and everything she can to still be connected to him in some way, okay? It's, it's truly pitiful what I'm picking up here. And when I tell you, you don't even give a fuck the limps this woman is going through to try confirmation, child, this shit crazy. These hoes crazy, Lord. The stuff she going through to try to antagonize you and you over somewhere in that. And she mad too. I'm telling you, she in the five of swords because you not paying attention. You don't care. It's like she can pick up that you really are over this masculine. Like you don't give a fuck. Okay. You may even be in a, ooh, I can't make it up. You in a whole new partnership, possibly. You do not give a fuck. And see, that's what he done picked up too. Because I'm telling you, he was with the bullshit. Seven of Swords is falling right up under the King of Swords. But see, he didn't realize you don't give a fuck no more either. Your ass is, may very well be accepting an offer from somebody else. Okay, they both immature. So now he don't want to fuck with her like that. Because you don't give a fuck who he fucking with. Because you fucking with somebody else. And that was a lot of fucks. But y'all feel what I'm saying, because this is ridiculous. Ridiculous now. She doing all this shit to try to trigger you, and you, you in a whole new union, sitting on the top of the wheel with a motherfucker. He could be a king of cups, knight of cups. Now you coming out as this queen of wands. I'm trying to tell you, you are not pressed about this person. And I'm really getting that now he want to be. <clears throat> he didn't have a change of heart. He didn't three of swords her. And now he want to come over there and give this to you. That's why she really tripping. But you don't even give a fuck. Like what? <laughs> like, huh? I'm over here enjoying my man, my man, my man. I don't care what y'all got going on. Child, that's what you're saying now. And you ain't in a relationship. You're accepting a page of cups union with somebody, but you're still maintaining your independence. Okay. You may be dating a couple of people, nine of pentacles, queen of wands, and the energy is falling right up under each other. See, that's the problem. That's what's got her up pressed. Look at this. Look at this right here. There she go. I'm telling you, she got Gemini on her chart. That's why she's trying to cause all of this negative energy to be stirred up within you, but you don't care. I'm telling you, you probably are laughing like that. Like, you probably are, have been chuckling through this reading like, this whole cry, cry. Like, I don't care. I don't want him. I don't want him. That's what you <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, 1441. Who is that? Who are you talking about? I don't, who? I don't know that person. I ain't never dated him before. I, you might have me confused with someone else because 
We don't know him. I don't know him. Me and, if his name ain't Four of Wands or Page of Cups, baby, I don't know him. Okay? <laughs> okay? Or Ten of Pentacles, baby, I don't know him. Who is that girl? Who, who you talking about? He said he used to talk to me. What? Girl. Now you know better than that. Mm. Tuh. See? So, you know, she might as well hang this shit up. Because <laughs> you don't give a fuck. What they used to say, if you don't give a damn, then we don't give a fuck. Okay? They didn't give a damn when they was fucking with you. So, 1551, he didn't give a damn that this hoe was antagonizing you. So, now you don't give a fuck. 1555. And you've moved on with your life. You are not invested. And you winning, too. Six of Wands coming out right behind this fool energy that you were in. You are winning. Okay, and he didn't pick that shit up too. I'm telling you, he just as immature, 16, 16, and dumb and petty and ignorant as she is. Crazy too. Because the only reason why he ain't fucking with her like that for the moment, okay, because these motherfuckers be on and off like, like a motherfucker. I'm picking it up. But the only reason why he don't want to fuck with her right now, and he's taking this action, like he don't want to be with her and he want to come towards you possibly is because you don't care anymore. You don't want him anymore. This is an ego death that is occurring because when he, if, if he attempts to come towards you, his feelings going to get hurt. That's over with for you. Empress eight of swords. He will be restricted from you. And he is restricted from you. And definitely you don't care. Because you know who he is. And I'm telling you. He could have possibly been a divine counterpart at one point. But he wanted to boss up and pair up with this queen of cups. He coming out as her match twice. Note that. King and queen of swords. King and queen of cups. So since he wanted to be with her and behave the way that he did with her you moved on because you knew god wasn't playing in your face like that you knew god wasn't gonna bring you nobody that was so petty and envious and hateful and immature and if these people like i tell y'all if these people lock in like i'm picking up these people have locked in because they out here is each other's match twice okay that mean he do the same shit she do and she do the same shit that he do. So they're like-minded individuals who both is on that fuck shit and don't believe the hype. 1818, because this man ain't changed. This man just mad because you don't give a fuck no more. I'm telling you, that's the, that, I wish that could be the title of the reading because that's the, that's the energy. That's the energy now. You don't care. You, you out of that loop. Any final messages here, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. And I'm telling you something here. What I'm seeing is you may only be talking to one person right now, but that page of cups is going to turn into a four of wands and that four of wands is going to evolve into a ten of pentacles you may end up marrying whoever this is that you're talking to right now but i ain't gonna pull no energy on him confirmation let me tell you confirmation let me tell you why because this king of swords king of cups is just as vindictive sneaky and conniving as this queen of cups queen of swords and if her ass was out here playing in magic and is still playing in magic against you, you better know that this King of Cups, King of Swords playing magic too. His ass ain't evolved that much. He just don't want to be bothered with her bullshit anymore. For the time being. Because I keep hearing that shit. Like these people have signed some sort of karmic contract together. If they ever did any spell work to bind themselves together in a moment of lust, 
Okay? That shit locked me in. Like, that, like this is this is one of those situations where the masculine be trying to get away from a hoe, but he can't never seem to get away from her. He always come right back around. He It's like, no matter how far he travel, he come right back around her ass. That's a loop, a spiritual loop that he been placed in with that person. That's a, a very, very strong, toxic, karmic tie. That's going to take a lot of effort and work on his part to break. I feel like you've realized that as well. Child, nobody got time for that shit. Let them suffer in that, that circle together. You done took a break from that shit. And you spiritually protected from all of this magic that she's been doing to trigger you and harvest your energy. Because that's also very important. Whoever this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords is... She had real she realized that when she could trigger you and get a reaction out of you, she could take that energy, that that response, that result that you produced 2112, and she would alchemize it into some sort of abundance for herself. That's what she was doing with your energy, both of them, 2121. Now they ask at odds with each other because you that refuse to participate is these this is a couple whose primary goal in life was to antagonize a divine divine being the song going right now is want to be starting something that's what she been trying to do she keep trying to start something <laughs> you don't give a fuck because you a divine feminine and you don't pay attention to weary ass hoes who are energy vampires we don't love them hoes. We we starve them hoes, okay? We don't let them hoes remote view us to get our energy because they pick up that we triggered by the bullshit they say and do. Nah, we didn't grew up. We didn't learned our lesson from that, okay? And see, they was building off of, of you, but when you pull your energy back, he realized that he can't build nothing with her because anything they was getting, they was getting off of their combined efforts against you, off of your energy. And once you took your energy away, they ass ain't been able to, to produce a damn thing because they both, I'm telling you, they both was in some hitman energy fucking with you, trying to antagonize you, spiritually attacking you, trying to trigger you and they was trauma bonding doing this damn magic with they dumb ass because i'm telling you they didn't put they didn't did some magic in a moment of trauma bonding thinking it was love and it was just lust and the devil okay and they have done some sort of spell work probably did something with blood some sort of blood sex magic this old nasty ass hoe but I bet you she be out here acting like she a damn fucking princess and about damn 50 years old, acting like a child, out here doing this bullshit. I'm picking up on this hoe. This hoe old, out here doing this. Probably got an older child or children as well and out here behaving and doing all this shit. Ain't got no damn job like girl. Out here doing all this fucking magic, thinking she clever, and probably looking like this, because that magic eating that ass up. Okay, it's giving Skeletor, and I ain't talking about Skeletor because you got health issues, chronic health issues. I'm talking Skeletor because your ass be doing all that damn spell work, and that shit been eating your ass up spiritually. That's what I'm talking about. Know the difference. Flawed as a motherfucker. I, that's who I'm talking about. Okay? Because I'm tired of picking up on these old trifling ass hoes. And the reason why they keep coming up 2442 is because y'all have got to cut your own karmic ties with these motherfuckers. Whoever you are, you didn't cut the tie with him. That's why you are getting this revelation. 
That's why you are seeing how they shit falling apart. Because I'm telling you, she going to be in the Ten of Swords in a minute. She going to be, look, ew, I can't make it up. Because she doing too much. I keep picking up on some sort of antics on the physical realm as well. And between that and what she's doing spiritually, her ass might get arrested for something. Okay, so continue to focus on your happiness ahead with whoever this is that you have met. Because they, they fuck with you. They want you to teach them how to love. And just know that if this Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups continues to try to play in your energy, she going to get sick. And she better not try to play in the energy of this other man either. Because her ass might really croak. Okay? Because whoever this is that you have met and are receiving a page of cups from, this may be your true divine soulmate. The universe may have rearranged things because you disconnected from this masculine and put someone in alignment to give you what you deserve. And you go, you're going to have that as long as you keep moving forward. You know, you keep squaring up with this new boo instead of trying to square up with these crazy ass hoes because he a hoe too this some hoe ass shit i will never get thee behind any man who openly and willingly participates in this type of crap with their woman against another woman okay he got to be getting it from the somebody is tearing that ass up too, okay? I'm telling you, and it ain't her. Unless she wearing a damn strap on. But they got problems. That's all I'm saying, <laughs> okay? And decide to wear a strap on don't be you got problems. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't know nothing about it. But I just picked that up. Like she be dominating this man. Take it how you will. Now he want to come chill with you. Child, boo. After they've been sending all these crown chakra attacks towards you, honey, you over it, honey. You know that him and her are some motherfucking haters. And when I tell you, you didn't cut these hoes off energetically for good, that's what it is. That's what it is. So, you know. She can realize it or not. He can realize it or not as well. Because he sure think he finna slip and slide into your DMs, your emails, your... I doubt he got your phone number. Look what came out. Balance your chakras. They are your soulmate. They are in awe because the spell work ain't spelling. Animal instincts. You, you need to continue to... Make sure you remain in alignment because who you who you are with now, that's who your true divine soulmate is. So don't let anything knock you off balance, disturb your chi. Daily self-care is essential in, in order to maintain this balance that the universe is asking you to keep going in your life because you are on the right track. Continue to follow your instincts. And I'm telling you, her ass is sitting up somewhere looking like, damn, I, this ain't working like it used to. I don't feel her energy like I used to. What's going on? Why isn't she reacting to the bullshit that I do? Because baby, you have evolved. You grew. That hoe is strange, okay? And you know what's up. And that's why they have been energetically cut. You know what's up. And I can't make it up. And I'm rhyming now, so we finna drop the mic. But I can't make it up, child. They've been divorced from your energy, okay? 29-29. And I'm dropping the mic. So she can him how all she want to. You don't give a fuck. And baby, I will continue to focus on this page of cups, divine soulmate energy, because that is going to evolve into the ten of pentacles, fool, and six of wands for you. If you continue to take 
the deliberate action with this knight of swords that you're doing, this man is going to make you his wife. You will become his empress. Okay? But if it doesn't apply, y'all, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.